The CDC has now the ability to offer a wide variety of minimally invasive procedures. Procedures which were not possible before due to the lack of advanced you know, scopes, advanced instruments, and plenty of tools are now possible. We now have every single piece of a large puzzle. In New York uh, Presbyterian Hospital, Royal Cornell Medical Center, we're very, very lucky in that we have uh, the uh, Center for Advanced Digestive Care, uh, which is an umbrella center where many, many, many specialists, and we all come together uh, in a way that uh, is really unique. Our vision is to dramatically improve the outcomes of patients who have digestive diseases. And what that means is, in no small way, to change the way care is delivered to patients with digestive disorders. We can now do from the inside what used to be done from the outside, working directly within the anatomy of the patient. A lot of the more aggressive surgeries which required open surgeries have been uh, uh, performed more minimally invasively and more successfully. Just because of the technology allows you to do so much more. I use tools that allow me to go into uh, the bile duct, the pancreas, uh, fluid collections, and also do procedures for anti-obesity. Uh, These are things that are like surgery but without, without the knife itself. So patients recover quickly, they're minimally invasive procedures, and they allow you to do great things. There is two very important trends right now. The first trend, patients are looking for minimally invasive intervention. They really want to be able to move on and keep going with their daily activities without having any major interruption. And our government is actually demanding cost-saving procedures. They're trying to cut cost by any means. So we have now the ability to be able to, to meet those two goals. If you can take an 80-year-old lady who's sick with a serious problem and send her home the same day with just as good or maybe a better treatment, you got something big. If you do a procedure that is actually done entirely in endoscopy and the patient doesn't need to be admitted for a few days, you've cut in many thousands of dollars. And that obviously is something that the government is looking at. And if the patient can get back to work the next day and go on with his lifestyle, obviously the patient is extremely satisfied with this option. So I think the combination of these things make the, the CADC experience and the NYP experience unique to the patient care. This is on not just an evolutionary, but really almost overnight going to be a revolutionary uh, change. We're doing great things here. We're doing innovative procedures, new procedures, um, and things no one else uh, no one else is doing. We're not sitting back on our laurels like, oh, look what we've done. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not interested in that. We don't have time for that.